Perfect intro. <laughs> Welcome, one and all, to the first episode of The Fact Bar, a Fact Thing Companion miniseries brought to you by The Editors. I'm Brad, I'll be your host for today, and I'm joined by my fellow editors, Nisha and Lucas. Which how much whiskey I'm going to go through in this. <laughs> now, I'm oh. on, the, uh, on the squash, even though we're at a bar, and it's supposed to be alcohol, but I spent last week at an all-inclusive holiday where it was just like San Miguel... And cocktails all day, every day. So I'm like, oh, just God. episode one, and not even committed to the bit. <laughs> uh, Lucas, are you drinking? I will. Uh, yeah, I've just got a, a toffee apple cider. There we go. Someone can mm. commit. So, because this is the first episode, I'm going to quickly just explain the format of this series. We work for a fact-based channel, which means that we're constantly coming into contact with interesting tidbits, which don't often make it into the videos. So the plan is that every so often we're going to get together, we're going to grab a drink, and we're going to share some cool bonus facts with each other. And with you, the viewers. Spite is defined in the dictionary as a desire to deliberately hurt, annoy, or offend someone. Do either of you think you're spiteful people? No. You said annoy, though, right? Well, yeah, I mean, you can deliberately annoy people through spite. Well, then I'm a very spiteful person. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm mildly annoy everybody as much as possible is my kind of motto. <laughs> Have either of you ever heard of a spite house? Nope. I imagine it's something like the Hell House from Final Fantasy VII, where it's just, like, attacking you. Like, a physical giant house that attacks you. Like, one of its attacks is to <laughs> inhale you through the front door and, like, spit you back out. Back in reality, <clears throat> Nisha, do you have any <laughs> idea what a spite house might be? I don't know, my first thought was think people go into the house and just get annoyed by people who live there or work <laughs> there or something is it a house where like you've designed the interior design to piss everybody off like, think think external a spite house is a building constructed or substantially modified to irritate neighbors or any party with stakes in the land so these houses are basically designed and built specifically to annoy people that live nearby or that want to use that land or the land around it. Mm. And okay. they do things like they obstruct places, they block out light, they can block access to buildings, um, or they can just exist as this defiant symbol of, fuck you, this land is mine. <laughs> so the, I'm likely going to make the title of this video, of this first episode, a literal fuck you house. Because they exist <laughs> just to tell people to go fuck themselves. There's a few examples that I've highlighted through here, like basically through history, that I thought were interesting examples. So the first one of which is 1830. Uh, this spite house is called the Hollandsbury Spite House. And basically there was a gap between two houses that people were using as like a loitering alleyway, or they were moving carts and horses through this alley. And one of the mm -hmm. people who owned the house was like, no. So what they did was they built a house here, which uh, the dimensions, I'm not gonna read them all out. The most important one is that the width of this house is seven feet or 2.1 meters <laughs> uh, like, basically the size of a door <laughs> well, it's just like a tall person lying down is the yeah. width mm. of this house and it still exists if anybody would like to google hollandsbury spite house you can see the interior because people still live there and uh, it's cozy uh okay so another yeah. example so this one is known as the freeport spite house basically uh, back when they were designing freeport in new york uh, somebody didn't like the fact that they were trying to make it in a grid. So you know how most US cities are in grid shapes? Like the streets are mm -hmm. um, blocks mm -hmm. and avenues and stuff. Uh, this person didn't like that, so they overnight built a Victorian house in the path of one of these roads. So um, people can, if people can also look this up, if you look at the map, the road has to break off into two roads. Because there's oh a house in the way. It's the only it's the only place in this entire area that isn't a perfect grid. It's just this one person who built this triangular house to piss people off. I was actually um, watching a video a few days ago of like a myth spite house, like a what people assume was a spite house, but actually isn't. And obviously, I wasn't thinking about the term at the time, but. There's like a house in the middle of a motorway um, in England, like I think it's near Manchester, where basically the motorway has to split off into two and go around a house. And it's like <laughs> a little farm there. Um, 
But instead of it being that they like refused to sell the land and they had to build around it, it was that they would have had to build around it anyway because there's like a fault underneath where the house is. So oh, okay. it wouldn't sustain a motorway. So it looks like a spite house and that's what people assumed it was. Mm. But it's that's actually not... that they wouldn't have been able to build there regardless. I but it's just this one little house, house trapped in the middle of a motorway. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that house. On, that's, how dangerous is that house? It's just, <laughs> there's just roads. roads. House. <laughs> It's like, how do you park? Like, has it got a drive? How do you, well, like, how thinking. do you reverse like, out? <laughs> you've got to get to motorway speed and merge in traffic <laughs> from a standstill. Maybe it's got its own lay-by. <laughs> you have to accelerate it's, in and out. What do you do? I don't know. Just Maybe they just don't... merge 70 mile an hour traffic straight off the bat. <laughs> Maybe they just don't drive. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I, I, but I, I do wonder how they get out of their house. Like, is there an underground passage that takes them off to the side? Or is it literally just, like... There's got, there's got <laughs> to be a, there like, has got to be a way out like that. There's <laughs> just a ramp hit, hit over the trucks. Like, get it. Yeah, okay, so a few other examples of spite houses. There's one called the Pink House. So this is, a, this is an urban legend. Um, apparently what happened was there was a divorce settlement and the agreement was that the man had to build an exact replica of the house they lived in for his wife in order to keep the house he had. But she didn't specify where. So, <laughs> so the, as, as the story goes, he built it on the edge of a town that has saltwater plumbing near a marsh. And it's a, it's a really good photography location, apparently, because it's just this really nice house in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he built it on the edge of a cliff. <laughs> on the moon! <laughs> <laughs> that really is, like, the malicious compliance, isn't it? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, sure, I'll, I will totally build that house, but fuck you in particular. <laughs> <laughs> it, this, it sounds a bit far-fetched. Like, a lot of them, there's pictures. If anyone likes to go to the, um, the Wikipedia page and look, there's a lot of pictures of spite houses. The majority of them are just tiny houses built on tiny plots because someone either wouldn't buy the plot, so they went, fuck you, I'll build a house on it then, or someone <laughs> built it because they're like someone was going to buy it off them or something like that. That That mm -hmm. is the point of a spite house. And, there is also spite fences, um, which are mo way more common because it's easier to build a fence than a house. Yeah. But no, I I I, just, I love the idea that there are people out there who are so annoyed, they're so pissed mm -hmm. off with whatever reason that they would build a house to show how fucked off they are. I don't yeah. think I've ever been that annoyed at someone <laughs> or something to do that. It's just too much effort. It's a lot of effort and money involved in mm. like just minor inconvenience in some cases <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, you know we should we should uh we should get carl to build a fact fiend spite house but the question is where does the spite house get built like who are we trying to piss off you could make it so it's like it stands out like it's a bright green like it looks horrible <laughs> the, the green screen house er the green screen house so it looks horrible amongst every other house and it just but, ruins uh, the landscape. <laughs> then when, whenever anyone complains about it, like, ruining the landscape, you can take a picture and then green screen the house out and be like, well, there's no problem. <laughs> nothing there. <laughs> there's nothing there. <laughs> I guess we'll close off. Last orders, everyone. Oh, I'm gonna... oh finish my squash. <laughs> ah, I used the wrong arm to reach for my drink. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, that's the fact bar. We're just going to do this. We're going to just get together and chat. It's basically a fact feed video without Carl. Um... And, and three people, and not in front of a green screen, and not based on an article. <laughs> it's not a fact fiend video. Uh, so uh, next week's host, or well, next episode's host, I don't know when we're, when we're putting these out. Next episode's host will be Nisha. Will it? Yes, because <laughs> we're, we're, we're recording it straight <laughs> no after this. What if it's what if Lucas wants to go next? You know. Well, I'm doing it in like half an hour anyway. But then I'll just <laughs> rearrange the order of the episodes. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. If you enjoyed this, you know what to do. I can't be bothered saying it. Does anyone want to say it? Uh, <laughs> eat three chicken wings. There you go. If you enjoyed this video, eat three chicken wings. Or if you're vegetarian or vegan, eat three lettuces. It's celery sticks. <laughs> that would have been best. <laughs> lettuces. Just full lettuces. Oh.